Hey guys, welcome to another edition of An Engineer's Opinion. This time I'm going to be talking about the Raspberry Pi Zero. Let's jump over to the article here. So it's up on Ars Technica right now and basically it's a new Raspberry Pi that is about half the size of a credit card. You can see it here compared to a $5 bill and it's by this $5 bill because that's how much it costs. You're paying $5 for something that is just as powerful as the original Raspberry Pi models A, A+, B, and B+, and they're actually saying it's 40% faster, so you're getting a lot of power for something that used to cost about $20, and it's got a 1 gigahertz ARM 11 CPU, it's got 512 mega RAM, it's got a SD slot, it's got HDMI output, it's got everything you could ever need for a small time little hobby board and you can see it's got 40 GPIO uh, let's, there, let's see if there's a better picture here so I mean this is a fantastic deal for what you're paying now the original I'll say board that kinda of started this all was the Arduino and they have an Arduino Nano which is currently about fifteen dollars and it runs at 18 mega 328 now that is an 8-bit 20 megahertz processor so it's just you know piddly piddly processing power compared to this behemoth and you know I'm so happy that Pi is making these boards so cheap when I was in college you know I was using an Arduino or an Arduino knockoff you know something with an ARM processor but I was still paying 30 40 bucks a board if I had one of these I could have paid five dollars and I could have done everything I needed for that five dollars so if you're looking to get into tinkering around with a little board you know you just want to toggle some LEDs on and off but have the capability of doing so much more check out the Pi Zero you're really gonna be impressed and you can't really go wrong you know it's gonna do pretty much anything you need if you wanna you know make a remote let's say like garage door opener you know write a little app that talks to Wi-Fi this board is going to be able to do all of that for you you know it supports all the current Raspberry Pi software so there's a huge base of knowledge and software and capability out there just take some time tinker a bit and you're really gonna be happy and learn a lot in the process and that's an engineer's opinion